Let's head down the road a bit to Alcoa now. Yeah, we do want to check in with six on your side reporter Dominic Webster joins us from Alcoa High School. So Dominic, how are things in that part of Blunt County tonight? Hey, Bo and Lori, uh, last I checked, just before our, our live shot here, there were just under 800 people who had come in and cast their ballot. We are over that number now uh, just in the last 10 minutes or so. And a lot of first-time voters have made their way here to Alcoa High School just in the last 30 to 45 minutes, another about half dozen from what I reported on earlier uh, during the 5 o'clock show. And among those <clears throat> was first-time voter Sarah Zappa, and she came in, casted her vote. We spoke to her about what it was like coming through and, and doing the process for the first time ever. This is what she told us earlier this afternoon. It was, it was pretty important because I wasn't able to my first time because I moved out of my home for college and I didn't have a car and I wasn't able to get back to my county to vote. So I was very excited to vote this election. It was pretty, it was simple and easy and they explained everything as I was going. Yeah, the, the poll workers here doing a good job of if anybody has any questions before they get to the ballot machine that they are able to help them out as best as they can. And we saw a shorter li uh, line just a little bit ago. It was about to the door here inside the gymnasium. But those people came in, they got signed up, they got whatever they needed to to get to the ballot machine, cast their vote, put it through the other machine that reads those ballots, and then were on their way. It was a very quick process here, maybe five minutes for some of those coming through and casting their ballots here in Blount County at Alcoa High School. Reporting live in Blount County, Dominic Webster 6 on your side. All right, Dominic, thank you so much. And one thing that is making the process a little bit quicker uh, is the fact that the ballot is pretty short compared to others in, in recent years. I was going to say, it really was. I know when I voted, I remember looking and thinking, oh, this is it. I know, it turned yeah. it over. That's so, all I had. So you're, you're in and out pretty quick, as you just heard Dominic mention, and even some of those areas where we're having the longer lines, it mm -hmm. seems like the lines are moving, so that is good. It's just some areas you're going to see a longer line than some others, but again, you still have just under two hours to go to get out there and vote tonight. Kind of